Welcome there everyone. In order to change the keyboard in your iPad 10th generation, if you would like to use a third party keyboard, I will cover changing the language in a bit. But for a third party keyboard, the first step is you do need to download that third party keyboard. So in my case, I'll be showcasing Gboard, but there are so many other keyboards like Grammarly, Fonts Plus keyboard, as long as it is a third party keyboard, you'll be good to go. Once the keyboard is downloaded, to change to that keyboard, you're going to open up the settings app. From here, you're going to select general. You're then going to select keyboard. You're going to see keyboards. Tap on this. You're then going to see add a new keyboard. Tap on add. You're going to see the third party keyboards here. And if you would like to change the language of your keyboard, you scroll down and then select that different language. So in my case, I want to use the third party Gboard, so I'll tap on this one. But the issue is, right now, the old keyboards are still available. To remove them, we're going to tap on Edit. If you use a third party keyboard, you want to remove the emoji and your language. If you're trying to change the language of your keyboard, keep the emoji keyboard, but remove the old language like this. You can also change the order, okay? So if you're trying to change the language, make sure your language is at the top and then the emo uh, emoji is below. In my case, I'm gonna remove the emoji too. And now, when I go to the keyboard, you can see we have the Gboard, okay, see the Google, and Gboard does have built-in emojis, so you don't need the emoji keyboard, all right. If you long press on this language icon, you can switch the keyboard, so if you want to go to the next keyboard, you can do that. That is useful if you want to have multiple languages for your keyboard, so let's say you're uh, you know, Indian, you want the English keyboard, and then you want the Hindi keyboard, then you can switch between those two, no problem. And there we go. So if you want to help support the channel and use Amazon, if you're planning on buying anything from Amazon, if you use my Amazon affiliate link in the description before you buy, uh, I will get a commission Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.